Tis the season to stop hating gay people. <laughs> fa la 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 la. I don't like <laughs> Christmas. I'm sorry. I just but don't. you know, the holidays, New Year, it's time. For Love me. New Year. New Year's good, and and in this, you know, spirit of peace and love and goodwill towards man. That's the problem right there. <laughs> right. The language. Number one, the language. Abigail, uh, what's her name? Abigail Adams. Adams. She's... All people are created equal should have been in the Constitution, yes. not all men. men. Sorry, guys. you got to include us. And if whether or not we're gay or straight, that's none of your business. Well, I think it's interesting in the wake of the Duck Dynasty comments about him saying... You know, uh, gay sex is immoral, and you know, then going right into bestiality. That man, uh, man looks so ridiculous. I can't imagine anybody would even listen to him. Well, there's a big brouhaha. But for me, it's the same thing as hating on women. Either all people are equal or they're not. It's an absolute proposition. Isn't it interesting when we get hate mail, which I, I actually love, I, we get so tickled. The last one was too dirty dyke. Liberal, no feminist femi liberals. Yeah, two dirty dyke feminist liberals. <laughs> we get this stuff, and we just break. And the the other one I love. Oh, they talked about our lesbian twat juice. Two old lesbians <laughs> talking about their twat juice. I mean, really, you can't make that stuff up. But the worst thing you can say about a woman is that she's a dyke or a lesbian, and you know, or a feminist. <laughs> well, the, see, they lump them all together. If you're a feminist, yes. you're a dyke and a lesbian. Well, I am all those things. So am I. And I'm very <laughs> proud of it. <laughs> so I guess you're going to get happy holidays from two old lesbian, dyke, feminist... Twatches! <laughs> <laughs> Drink up! <laughs> In this country, it's still legal to discriminate against someone, to deny them housing or fire them based on their sexual orientation. And it's still legal not to pay someone dollar for dollar if that person is a woman. So I feel like in this, you know, for the new year, for 2014, can we just get over genitals already? Uh, it's going to take a little longer, I'm afraid. Can we get over who someone chooses to be intimate with? Uh, I'm afraid it's going to take a little bit longer. And we're going to have to get over uh, organized religion. I, it just boils down to that's the bottom line. So what? what well, he cited the Bible, and God is justifying his homophobic comments. Well, there comments. you go. There you go. <laughs> you so know? we got a long way to go, but I'm feeling very positive about the new year. My nephew from Chicago, he's adopted, uh, who calls me Uncle Betty, will come and spend New Year's with me. And I want to get th some work done. Over between Christmas? Chris yeah, Christmas and New Year's. It's just a, yes, it's a perfect time. Well, I'm going to be uh, home with my family for the first time in 10 years. Oh, that's why you're so full of all this Christmas. -y well, because I think it's it is a time for healing and renewal. That's how I see it. Because if you if you really buy into it, and it's about peace and love, and harmony, and all of these things, it and goodwill towards men, goodwill towards man, you know, humankind. Let's just get over it. I can just let go, <laughs> and let's just love everyone and give everyone space at the table. You don't have to like them, and you can say whatever you want about them, but you can't deny them equal rights. That's just mean. I love New Year's. I have so many plans for the new year. Ooh, what? Oh, what? Tell well, us. I've got a list. It's going to start off with, you know, all the things that we're creating. I'm, no, I'm very, and first of all, I want our new checks for the foundation. Yeah, the foundation will Boom. start. That's number one. I'm so happy with that. It's just, I can't tell you, things are just going so well. I'm filled with gratitude. I think that's what I'm feeling. I've been feeling, um, like, thinking about the foundation and what we're really promoting, and I feel like it's just, <laughs> the word I keep on com comes to mind is sex positive. Because I feel like being sex positive, it means embracing everyone. everyone and everything, you know, and if it's positive and consensual, it's moral, and in my book, Absolutely. you know, and I think that's what we're going to promote. And I loved the New York cover, this recent one, with the Pope. In the snow, making an angel was that it? I mean, he's a good guy. I mean, if you know, of all the religions, he's 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 one of the few that has stepped forward. Well, he's been very vocal about not focusing yeah. on birth control and gay marriage and get away from those issues. They're no. personal issues. If you don't want to have gay sex, oh, don't have it. Psst, by the way, if you're masturbating, you're having gay sex. <gasps> uh oh, we're all gay. Is that what you're trying to say, Aunt B? <laughs> So you might as well have a good time. Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. <laughs>